Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gizla. Let's take up a question related to compound interest. Preeti invested rupees 50,000 at 8% per annum for 3 years and the interest is compounded annually. Calculate the amount standing to her credit at the end of the second year and the interest for the third year. So over here, Preeti has invested rupees 50,000. So that is our principal, rupees 50,000. Rate of interest is 8% per annum. Total time period for which she has invested is 3 years. We need to calculate the amount at the end of the second year and also the interest only for the third year. Now since in this question we need to find the amount and the interest, let us revise the formula of the same. So formula of amount which we will be using is A is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 100 whole raised to power N where A is the amount, P is the principal, R is the rate of interest per annum, N is the number of years. Now simple interest formula we are going to use to calculate the interest because actually we are calculating the interest only for one year and that also for in the third year we are calculating. So simple interest formula as we all know is P into R into T upon 100 where P is the principal, R is the rate of interest per annum and T is the time period. So these two formulas we are going to use in this question to solve it, uh, the amount formula and the interest formula. Now let's start with the solution. Over here Preeti has invested rupees 50,000. So that is our principal rupees 50,000. Rate of interest is 8% per annum. And since we have to find the amount at the end of second year, so we have taken the time period as two years. Now amount formula is A is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 100 whole raised to power N. So further we shall put the values now. Principal is 50,000. So 50,000 in bracket 1 plus 8 upon 100 whole square. Further 8 and 100 will get divided by 4. We shall get 2 and 25. And then we shall take LCM. So further we can write 50,000 in bracket 25 plus 2 upon 25 whole square. Which is equal to 50,000 in bracket 27 by 25 whole square. Which is equal to rupees 58,320. So amount at the end of second year has come 58,320. So now first part of the question is over. Now we shall move to the second part. In the second part we have to find the interest of the third year. So for the interest we need the principal of the third year. And we know that the amount at the end of second year becomes the principal of the third year. So rupees 58,320 is the principal of the third year on which we have to calculate the interest using the simple interest formula that is P into R into T upon 100. Or in other words, you can say we have to calculate 8% of rupees 58,320 for one year. So accordingly, we can write 58,320 into 8 into 1 upon 100 which is equal to rupees 4665.60. So this is the interest for the third year that is rupees 4665.60. So we have solved both the parts of the question. In the first part we have calculated the amount at the end of second year and second part we have calculated the interest for the third year. So hope you have understood this question. Please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you everyone. Have a good day.